Good evening, everyone. And uh, nice to see familiar faces and new ones and uh, little ones. And, uh, well, big thank you to you too. Oh, Larry and I are yes. so happy to be here. It's our pleasure. Every year we come here and we look forward to it. It's always on the list. Laguna Beach, you know, without even asking first, it's in the you know list that okay, it's yes. gonna happen there. So very happy to be back here again. And uh, for the ones they haven't heard Sipal before, I can say a little few little things so you know you feel more familiar and uh, you feel more interested maybe. So as you see, this is Sipal got a lot of strings and every time we change different rock we have to tune a little bit here and there especially the strings underneath they go according to what I'm playing and um, what we play is called rag rag in the simple form you say um, combination of certain notes which is suitable for ears which is suitable for the nature, for environment, for physiology. It's all together. That thing is called a rag. And there can be hundreds of rags. And it's all different combination. You change a little here, you change a little there, and it changes the whole thing, the whole mood. And uh, because all the good um, combinations are already done, so we have all the ancient rags. Some they are new. But most of the rags, they're all from old times, and uh, we're keeping the tradition as Marishi wanted that we don't modernize the rag, we keep it in the Vedic tradition. And I think that's the most beautiful part because uh, we still feel the beauty, joy, wholeness in all together in all the notes. And then when we start a rag, when we learn a rag, we just learned the outlines, we learned the rules, there are so many rules and regulations, I think if I start telling kids we'll be so happy we got less than the rag got because there are so many rules that we have to follow, where we can pause, where we can nod, where we touch, where we skip, friendly notes in one rag and not very friendly notes in one rag and those kind of things and we have to learn all the things, all the rules, and once you know the rule, you're free. Go, just play, improvise, whatever you can do to decorate that rug. It's the artist. They can just play the rug in a way that it will sound so beautiful and it will be just maybe five notes of, you know, all, all together, five notes. But how different ways you can decorate those five notes, that's the beauty. That's where you know, shows how uh, much we know. Because we can have one rag, one can play for 10 minutes, and we think that we did justice. Another one comes in, can play for half hour, and they think they did good. And one can come for, go for an hour, an hour, an hour, an hour, and then they think, oh, we still got something more to do. So that's the beauty of a rag, that everybody's free. I can play one rug and she can play or you can play and everybody will have their own vision to present. In one rug it's like a story, you know, you have maybe two main characters and there are some supporting characters. So all the story is going to be around those two characters with the help of other people in the story and starts like an in introduction and then it builds up and there are some good notes, good friends that you go and you stay and there are some they are not very friendly so you skip them. So those things in one round there can be five notes, there can be seven notes, there can be six notes. So it's up to the rag and then it's up to us to just present the notes like make them very beautiful, make them very blissful, very joyful. And that's how it builds up. We start really slow. The first part is called alap. And alap is a very slow process where you just build the whole foundation of the rag. So rag is done when you are doing the alap good. Then it should be in a way that you get the whole gist of the rag with the alap. And it's very slow. You take few notes and you decorate them. Then you go further. Then you take few more notes. You decorate them 
along with the first few notes and then you just go further and further and further. Still very slow, still improvising, putting your own vision, how you feel, putting your feeling out with the help of the notes. So every time we play a lap, it's always different. You know, we can play one rock, same rock today and same rock tomorrow. It will be different. The gist will be same. You will feel similarity, but it cannot be ever in the same sequence because you are going with the flow. Right now I feel this way. Tomorrow I'll be like this and next day I'll be like that. So, you know, fingers and mind will go do exactly how we're feeling. So every time everyone is playing, all the artists are different one from one the other. And after a lap comes another part which is called Jor a lap. Jor is a Hindi word means addition. So we add a little rhythm to the a lap and it gets a little more rhythmic. And then it gets a little faster and builds up. And then it goes a lot faster. The last part is Jhala, which is more very rhythmic and... Uh, really fast and I think these three little people will love the last part because it's really fast and fun and beautiful at the same time. So I will start with Rag Yaman. It's one of the first rag anybody would learn in music in Gandharva and she started learning that rag. So I'll just play for her so she can understand how the whole thing works. Samji. So it will be starting with Allah, very slow, and then it will get the second part and third part, and let's see how you feel.
<laughs> she was just like the 